Namaste. Today, in this video, we are starting the numerical integration to calculate the value of integration of the given function. So, first of all, let us revise the Newton forward interpolating polynomial. It was fx is equals to f0 plus s del f0 plus s into s minus 1 divided by 2 factorial del square f0 plus s into s minus 1 s minus 2 divided by 3 factorial plus del cube f0 plus s into s minus 1 s minus 2 s minus 3 divided by 4 factorial del power 4 f0 plus dot 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 up to n term s yes? so we use this Newton forward interpolating polynomial to generate the formula for calculating the integration. So, let we have to calculate the integration of fx from a to b with respect to x and let it represent by x naught to xn pn x dx since integration is the sum of area s or sum of part it helps to calculate the area so taking n equals to 1 then it becomes a b f x dx becomes x naught to x1 because if n equals 1 it goes from x0 to x1 and pn becomes p1 x dx and we know that s is equals to x minus x0 by s yes so it can be expressed as ds by dx is equals to 1 by s and when x equals to x naught, we get s equals to 0. Yes. And when x is equals to x1, we get s equals to 1. So this integration can be changed into a form like 0 to 1 f. So when f equal, uh, x equals to 1, these two terms are written as yes? so f naught plus s del f naught and dx is 1 by h yes so it is h into s ds so h ds okay and it can be written into so with respect to s the derivative is s f naught plus s square by 2 del f naught and range from 0 to 1 so it becomes s by 2 f naught plus f1 because f naught is equals to sorry del f naught is equals to f1 okay so this is the one equation similarly when n is equals to 2 so we take up to this three term that means integration from a to b fx dx can be expressed from x naught to x2 and p to x dx yes so it becomes x naught to x2 and when we take up to these two terms we can write it as f naught plus s del f naught plus s into s minus 1 by 2 factorial del square f naught all into h ds so 
Okay, we take the integration. We get s f naught plus s square by two del f naught plus its derivative. We get as s plus s minus one by two del square f naught into h, and it is ranges from zero to two. So it can be written as h f naught plus two f naught is f one minus f naught. Okay, so del f naught is f one minus f naught plus three by two del okay del f naught is f one minus f naught. Okay. Del square del f means del del f, so del f is converted into f one minus f naught. Okay, so it can be written into simpler form as h by three f naught plus four f one plus f two. Yes, it is equation number. Okay. Again, we calculate it for n equals to three. Okay. So now n equals to three. That means when n equals to three, we write up to this third term. So when n equals to three, that means a to b f x d x is equals to x not to x three. Okay. And we write this term. F not plus s del f not plus s into s minus one by two factorial del square f not plus s into s minus one s minus two divided by three factorial del cube f not whole multiplied by s d s. So when we solve this, we get it as Three h by eight f naught plus three f one plus three f two plus f three. This is equation three. Okay, so equation one, equation two, and equation three, and these three equation are known as Newton codes. Formula. Okay, these three equations are known as Newton codes formula. And in next video, I will be deriving the formula for Boole's rule by using same interpolating polynomial. I will be deriving the formula for Boole's rule. Okay. Thank you and bye bye